This episode is brought to you by Microsoft Azure. Turn your ideas into reality with an Azure free account. Get everything you need to develop apps across cloud and hybrid environments, scale workloads, create cloud-connected mobile experiences, and so much more. Discover what you can create with popular services free for 12 months. Learn more at azure.com. That's A-Z-U-R-E dot com. And sign up for a free account to start building in the cloud today. It's time for Friday Follies, right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance recommended. This is Comedy Forecast for Thursday, August 20th, 2020. Hairpin Turn. The Comedy Forecast Network. Let's dog ear this for now. Well, hi, Clinton here, and here is today's actual odd news story. Demi Skipper has had an iPhone and a minivan in her possession in the past few months. That's not unusual. But what if I were to tell you that no cash was involved in either acquisition? It's all part of her Trade Me project. Her ultimate goal? To trade for a house without ever having spent a single penny. Skipper hails from San Francisco, home of the Lavender Gate Bridge. Uh, Listen to Tuesday's episode for details on that. Her project began with an ordinary hairpin, which she traded for a pair of earrings, which she then traded for a set of margarita glasses, and so on, and so on, and so on. Among the unlikely trades she has completed in the past few months are a vacuum cleaner for a snowboard and that iPhone 11 Pro Max for a Dodge Grand Caravan although the van ended up being in rough mechanical shape and took some time to trade. Skipper was inspired by Canadian blogger Kyle McDonald's 2006 One Red Paperclip project. McDonald bartered his way from a single red paperclip to a house in a series of 14 online trades over the course of a year. McDonald, in turn, was inspired by the childhood game Bigger Better. And we have no idea what inspired Bigger Better. Skeptics might wonder if Skipper's friends are helping her achieve her goal. But under the rules of the challenge, she is forbidden from using cash or trading with anyone she knows. Skipper, who works for a restaurant reservation app, says she sends out around a thousand messages early in the morning and late at night when her life is all trades. And her success has gone viral, with more than 4 million online followers on TikTok and Instagram tracking her progress. Skipper says persistence has been vital. That part of the story is true. But I wonder if this happened. Wow, over 4 million followers on TikTok? And all because she's trading stuff to get a house. Well, wait until Talk Talk gets a load of my project. One used toothpick. This is gonna be huge. Yeah, I know I only have six followers right now, but once word gets out, Tap Talk will have to come up with a whole new number for the number of followers I'll have. <laughs> Let me see if my first trade is set up. If, uh, yeah, hey, yeah, somebody accepted. Hey, hey, one trade. Boom. Want to take that, McDonald and Skipper? I did it. I did it. I traded my house for a used toothpick. Wait. Did I do that right? I did not. Okay. Maybe that part didn't happen. But it could have. Today's episode is part of Comedy Forecast's participation in Dog Days of Podcasting, a yearly challenge for podcasters to release an episode every day for 30 days at the end of the summer. This year's challenge runs from August 4th to September 2nd, 2020. For more information and to hear from all the other participating podcasts, go to dogdaysofpodcasting.com. But for now, as always, this is Sir Patrick Stewart. And I'm Clinton. Saying, that's, that's it. it. We're, We're done, 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 done. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
Hi, this is John Bell. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. In my podcast, Bells in the Battery, I usually surpass a thousand words. Why does he? But for every episode, there is also a picture. You mean the itty bitty picture that you see when you bring up the episode? Yes, that's called a thumbnail. They're drawn on thumbnails? <sighs> but now you can see all the thumbnail pictures in large format by going to the Bells in the Bat Free Gallery. Just go online to thebatfree.com. That's T H E B A T F R Y dot com. And click on Gallery. That's G A L L E. I think they can figure that out. You'll see all the pictures for all the episodes that were created by Jeff Music, along with other guest artists like the Lavalier Brothers and famous animation director Dan Reba. Oh,、well, he knows one celebrity, and he really wants you to know about it. You'll also see lots of fan art. Art、over the years, and a few surprises. So when you're in the mood for a picture instead of a thousand words, especially, especially his, his words, words, go to thebatfree.com and click on gallery. And be sure to clean your thumbnails before viewing.